March 2020. The third reef is rigged, so just in case we need it, we don't have to go through that drill in the middle of the night when the wind suddenly picks up the 30 knots. That is not something we want to do. Well, it's Friday, March 20, and uh, I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear the moaning of that safe water whistle buoy, which is uh, marks the entrance, marks the Beaufort Inlet. So we've got about five miles now. And uh, as you can see, these winds have calmed down considerably. Once we got onto the colder water, uh, they went from about 20 knots or so down to about what we have now, kind of eight knots. 
and uh, you can see there's there's big container ships anchored just anchored off here so never been to Beaufort never been in there before so this will be a new experience I'm just glad it's not blowing 25 knots because uh, it really makes it difficult when you're dealing with strong winds in a strange place at the same time well, I'm guessing we're gonna be fighting an ebbing current here judging by these swells coming in are, are steepening almost uh, almost into overfalls uh, of course we're coming up on shallow water but uh, usually when they steepen up like that it's because they're hitting a contrary current so I'm gonna sail up to this red bell and see what the current looks like uh, yeah we're fighting about uh, that's about a knot and yeah, not to a knot and a half of ebbing current right here was that somebody's thermometer hanging off the buoy? Uh, that's a knot and a half. Okay, so we got about a knot and a half of ebbing current here. Now uh, we got a decent wind, so we should be able to fight it. And these winds are gradually increasing. But you can see, look at how steep these waves are. So this should be fun until we get into the sheltered, until we get into the sheltered waters here. Serious current here, probably about three knots. Well, the winds are continuing to increase, so at least. I got plenty of power to push through this current because it's it's really running pretty hard against me at this point. So now we're still fighting current, but we're uh, beginning to get shelter from the from the land there, so the seas are flattening out, which makes it a little easier. Some pretty nice beaches there. I see people out walking the beach. It's still a little chilly. So now we got the tricky part here. We got to thread the needle, which is we got to work our way up through a winding channel into the anchorage. And I did all my measurements and calculated that the channel is just wide enough to tack through. Uh, but I, I'm a little nervous here. Beginning to wonder if my uh, if I might have misjudged this one. And generally it's, uh, it's considered foolhardy to sail downwind into a place that you might not be able to tack back out of. Uh, back in the sailing ship days that would be known as getting in bayed. Uh, basically, you're, you're sailing into a trap, at least until the wind changes. But I'm committed now, so... No choice but to keep going to the anchorage. And of course, I just don't have much room here to... allow the boat to veer off course while I'm going through a jibe and adjusting sails because I'll be up on that beach pretty quick. I'm just checking that chart. I can see the channel uh, 
by the day markers, but still, I'm just the proverbial cat on a hot tin roof here, not wanting to make a mistake. But despite all that, I remember to put the GoPro on my head so I can get a helmet cam, some helmet cam footage for you. Well, there's just one other boat in the anchorage, which is actually convenient, because then I can see about where to anchor, but still have plenty of room. So I just sailed past him, picked my spot, rounded her up in the wind. Don't forget to tension that topping lift so the boom doesn't come crashing down on the deck when you lower the mainsail. And then forward. She slows down and let go anchor. And now back to lower the mainsail before she tries to sail the anchor out before it even set. And there's a little bit of current running through here, so she's reluctant to come up head to wind, which means the mainsail is not going to come down cleanly because it's running against, because it's rubbing against the topping lifts on the lee side. And so now we let out ample scope, about five to one we should have. Secure. We are anchored down in Beaufort. 